Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Aceorc or otherwise known as Kev Kev and today is special class Sunday number 3, we're going to be running the Charizard class, so let's jump right into it. Alright, so the Charizard class. This was a Pokemon inspired class and that's why we're going to be running everything red. So that's why on my launcher I've got the Inferno camo. I figured that would be the most appropriate camo to use. I just got it in like a supply drop, like literally like the day before I started going for this class. This was a very challenging class straight off the bat because I had to grind up a bunch of levels to get the equipment that I needed for this because um, a lot of the stuff was like somewhat higher level than I just um, prestige so a lot of the stuff was in like the 20s and 30s and it's a little bit harder to level up in this game so that's why it took me a bit of time but um, you guys just saw the class there the only reason why I switched between perk 3 was because it was a choice between gung-ho and tack mask and I chose gung-ho most of the time so I could use my uh, equipment and uh, stuff while I was sprinting just be a bit easier because tack mask um, I didn't really feel as if it would be too much point to it. So the gameplay you're seeing right now is just a couple of short little streaks and I guess cool sort of moments where I managed to get a couple of nice kills with this class because it was extremely extremely difficult and very frustrating because First of all, you haven't got a primary weapon whatsoever. Bambi was um, who, who gave me the class. The class is ridiculous because you don't have Ghost or Blast Suppressor, so you can't flank without them knowing you're coming. And uh, not to mention that there's also the problem that you don't have a primary weapon. You've got a launcher and two shots in that launcher. That is it. All right, this is probably like the one time I was able to get a couple of kills with the Thermite Grenade just because the enemies were just severely weak. They were would have been like red to the point where like you could push them and they would fall over they were just that weak and that's the only reason I got those thermite kills because thermites are literally useless in this game now after they've been nerfed they do nothing absolutely nothing um, a lot of the time I was getting a ridiculous amount of assists just because the thermites could not possibly kill anyone and um, I d they just had to be so severely weak so I used them as a reason like or a way to make the punches like a one hit kill um, just to weaken them up and then hit them once with the punch and then that was how I managed to get a couple of kills because uh, the punches no matter where you hit them if you're just using your fist it's gonna take two hits so even if you come up behind an enemy and you're using your fist it's gonna take two shots to kill them. As you all saw earlier, that usually doesn't go too well because they end up turning on you. And there was a couple of really amazing moments where I managed to clutch out, you know, and get like some streaks. So this was the main bit of gameplay that I was talking about where I managed to get a Talon while I was instructed to use the Rolling Thunder. You need to be level 42 to get that and I was not grinding up that high. Um, I just, I was doing so many other things and quite busy this week, lots of work and things like that at my part-time jobs. So that's why I wasn't able to grind up too much, but um, I, I managed to get the Talon just at the end of the game, so I feel as if that was just just as good, if not even better, because it's 100 more points for the Talon, so I feel as if that's somewhat of, of an improvement. Just a quick note, don't use Thermites while you're underwater. They don't work. They end up burning you instead of going out of the water and burning the enemy, so that was a bit of a fail. But uh, moving on, the purifier, oh my god, I was loving the purifier on this class. It was the one thing that was like my savior for this class. It was the one thing that let me go positive, all right, because there were so many games where it, this class literally like it killed my KD ratio. Like so many games where I just went negative as hell trying to use this, getting gunned down so much because a lot of the maps in Black Ops 3 have a simple three lane structure, but um, maps like Combine, Infection, Breach are horrible for this class because if you try flanking, they know you're coming and they're going to gun you down as soon as you get anywhere close to them. All right, if you use your launcher, you get one, maybe two two kills, rinse and repeat, and then you just keep dying and that, it's just a cycle and it was very frustrating for me. This was like the one time where things managed to work out well for me and I, I, I was out of ammo for this rocket launch and I was just like, oh no, how am I going to kill this person? I'm just going to have to run at them. I'm going to have to do it. And then bang, one hit punch. My teammate got him weak and I was so happy about that. I was just close to the talent and the game was just about to end. What do I do? I hear gunshots then come running out of the building like a madman and just punch the shit out of this guy, miss once, and then right hook, bang, Talon, just before the game ends. 
it was honestly great because that was one of the first couple of games I had with this class and I was just like, oh my god, I'm gonna do so well with this and then <laughs> and then I came into so many other games where I just got wrecked. I mean, what you're seeing right now is the best of the best of like three days of footage, pretty much. Normally, I get the footage on like the Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon of this video and I had to do it like over a couple of days because it was just that depressing. Um, <laughs> I, had to, I had to lengthen out how long I spent in this class because just so many times where I just got wrecked and it was very very frustrating so yeah the maps did not help because they were very uh, simplistic and there wasn't as much room for flanking hunted was probably the one best map for me just because I could utilize the water and lots of the different routes to help me flank the enemy and then use my purifier to get me close to my streaks where I could hopefully clutch it out and get my streaks so yeah it was a very very interesting class a, a bit of an ordeal to get kills with, uh, but we got there in the end. So it was uh, overall a very challenging but a rewarding class to use. So that's just about it for this episode. I hope you've all enjoyed it. I certainly ha found it very, very interesting. So uh, if you want to leave a little bit of a comment in the section below, if you want to see me use one of your classes in the next episode, then please feel free to. I'll leave some instructions in the description in case you are confused. But uh, that's just about it for this episode, and I guess I'll catch you all on the next one. I've been Ace Hawk, or otherwise known as Kiv Kiv, and I'm out.